is a river that flows deep within. By it we are all embarked together even this evening to tap freely say come and buy without money, without price. Hallelujah. And that is the reason we are here this evening. Oh, oh, oh. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And do you really believe that you're going to tap from this river freely? Amen. From on Friday night morning, on Friday evening, we believe the rounds are supposed to be going higher and higher and higher because we are in the divine presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Supply. Psalm, Psalm the 40, 149, glory be to God, Psalm 149, he said, praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints, he said, let Israel rejoice in him that made him, hallelujah, he said, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. And do we have a king this evening? And what is his name? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the tambourine and head. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing about aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance upon the heathens. Amen. And punishment upon the people. To, to bind their kings with chains. And their nobles with felters of iron. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor of all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. As the Lord of all, Lord, add a bountiful blessings to the reading of his holy words this evening as we humbly bow our heads and our heart to commit the service to the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Father, Lord God, we have come to your divine presence again and we so much believe that you are already here. Because your word said where two or three are gathered, that you are in their means. And the number is more than two, three. So we believe that you are really here, Lord God, Father, to execute, O oh Lord God, every desire of your people. Lord Father, which, O oh God, they that have missed the one of this morning, O oh God, the afternoon, that this evening will not pass them by. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, may you pour down a rain, Lord God, Father. And even as the sing, singers uh, sing your praises back to you, O oh God, and the musicians playing the music, Lord Father, may that that happen, O oh Lord God, in the life of Brother Saul, why Brother David was playing the instrument. Father, may there be a reputation today because you remain the same yesterday.
today and forevermore. Father, may demons be cast out, even as when songs have been ascribed unto the Lord. Take all the preeminence, O Lord God, Father, of your people, even this day, Lord Jesus, as we look all to you, Lord God. And even those on their way coming, Lord God, we pray you hasten their step, Lord Father. May they come, O God, and be partakers of today's blessings, which you have already started with your people, Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord Father, as you have your right of way for in us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you just turn around and just shake your love on hands? Amen. Tell him, him or her how grateful you are. Amen. We see them in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. As the musician play for us. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Amen. You believe he's your counselor. Amen. He's your everything. Glory be to God. Amen. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace. Mighty God is he. Oh, wonderful is my 
Amen, amen. Praise God. Wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is to me. To you. Praise be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. So you're welcome again for another time in the presence of the Lord. And where the presence of God is, there is liberty. And if you are free to shout, they are free to dance. They are free to lie down. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, like our brother said yesterday, he said we don't know how to dance. So David danced to the extent that his cloth came out of his body, left his body. Praise God. And he knew. He knew. Praise God. Let's say be the name of the Lord. So let's dance and praise God. That's what we are called to do. Rejoice. Again I say, rejoice. Amen. So you are welcome. So um, prayer request. I should bow ahead. Uh, Sister Vero says, saints of God, join me in prayer for God to destroy every evil work and manipulations of the enemy against her and her family and give her children and good jobs for she believed that God can do anything anytime at any circumstance in Jesus name praise God can we just bow our head our father Lord God like Hezekiah of old Lord uh, the, the, the king Lord, one time when King Sennacherib, oh God, uh, wrote a letter and said so many things against the God of Israel, and he couldn't do anything but to bring it before your altar and present it before you, Lord. And oh God, instantly, Lord, amen, you said, hold your peace, amen, this battle is not yours. Praise God. And so, Lord God, our sister Vero, Lord, has brought forth a prayer request before your presence Lord God that you oh God we grant her oh God a request even praying oh God that you give her children the Bible said oh God oh that you have given a barren even children to surround the table and they rejoice in it because Lord God amen you, you said there shall be no barrenness in the land and therefore Lord God may she get oh God her request that your name be glorified. Amen. The church of God come together in prayer, Lord, that you will grant it to her, Lord, and your name glorified. May she give this testimony next year, Lord. Amen. Of the good work you have done for her, Lord. Amen. Nine months time, Lord, we want to hear the testimony of the good things you have done. Amen. Oh God, that your name glorified. Grant her job and amen for she believe that you can do anything just at any circumstance praise God at any condition at any time Lord you are more than able we know for sure to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask think or ever imagine to the praise and glory of your holy name Lord hear people Lord your people Lord amen born sons Lord God standing before your presence Lord many of them have requests not even written right in their heart Lord because we come with expectations so therefore, Lord God, may we not leave this place tonight without our, oh God, desires met. That we will live here rejoicing. Indeed, it will be to us, Lord, like we have dreamed. Our mouth filled with laughter, our heart will rejoicing. Oh God, we say indeed the Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Blessed be your holy name. May there be rejoicing in your camp. Amen. May there be celebration in your camp. May your people, oh God, amen, oh God, receive their revival. May they know for sure that your presence is amiss. Show forth yourself. Amen. And may we, oh God, keep on rejoicing. And the, amen, oh God, oh Lord, we will say indeed, you were with us through the service. You were with us through the convention. You were, you were with us, oh God, while we rejoice and we dance and, oh God, that your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Love the Lord. You love the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. 
Amen. So please, uh, we're inviting our precious brother, Brother John, amen, from Ubudu Church, amen, as he makes his way to come for the special, amen. So and please, uh, the ministers and pastors that have not put down their, put down their names should please try to do that, amen, so that we can be appreciated by tomorrow, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, let's do this song to him. My justice will sing my justice. Can you say the grace? Your grace has found me. Just as I am, oh, empty handed power lay in your hand. Oh, my justice, oh, my justice, forever I am changed. Of your majesty, majesty. John, I mean, he's doing his song and it's titled Scales. Amen. Amen. I'm dedicating this song to as many that have been wounded for the broken hearted and those that have thrown in the towel. Amen. Because of the circumstances around them. Amen. Don't hide yourself from his presence. Bring it to him and he's going to mend it for you. God bless you. Look again I 
Appreciate Brother John for that wonderful one. Amen. The scale, the pains, the bodies, and all. Amen. It give the sons and daughters of God more gallant to stand. Amen. For the faith. Amen. You appreciate him one more time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. As we invite our Brother Kelvin from Adekiti Church. Amen. To make his way to come immediately for a special amen. Oh, I will not be defeated, nor I won't. Amen. Hallelujah. For the Lord is on my side. How many of you say amen to that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, I will not be defeated, no I won't. I will not be defeated, no I won't. For the Lord is on my side, I will not be denied, I will not be defeated, no I won't, oh I will not be defeated, well I will not be defeated, for the Lord 
peace on my side. I will not be denied. I will not be defeated. No, I won't. Say amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated while Brother Kevin presents a song and is titled Too Faithful. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many of us know that God is too faithful to disappoint us? He is the same yesterday. He is today and forevermore. He will never change. He remains the same. And this evening, as you hear the song, may you be blessed.
For the Lord who live in now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, you appreciate Brother Kevin for that wonderful one. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. We're enjoying ourselves and I will believe the Lord is pleased that you are giving the, gold, the glory and the honor. So, amen. So, we invite... Um, our brethren from Bright Apostolic uh, Ministry, Agbaro, Amen, as they will make their way to come for the song. Amen. Let's do this song. He's the Savior of my soul. to dry bone come alive. Amen. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you appreciate our precious sisters? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is all because living he loves me. You believe that? Dying he saved me. Oh buried he carried my sins far away. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, living he loves me. Dying he saved me. Buried he carried my sins far away. Oh, rising he justified. Freely forever. One day he's coming back. Can you strike it again? Oh, living, he lost me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified. Freely forever.
sisters. Come on, sisters. a living God certainly is not dead and we're not dead but our God is alive and we are alive hallelujah hallelujah amen man I tell you this is worship hallelujah amen glory 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 the prophet of God said a man can't worship unless God put worship in him. Hallelujah. Glory. You, you see, worship has got to be something deep down. It's got to be in you to come out of you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Shake somebody on beside you and say, God bless you. My. Ma, I guess we're having church. Ma, ma, ma. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. We certainly want to thank God. Amen for these meetings. 
And I, I tell you, I'm certainly privileged to be here. Amen. Amen. To share in the worship. Man, I tell you, it blew my mind. What a joy. Amen. And I'll tell you one thing. Heaven's going to be more than this. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, this is just the dressing room. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I certainly want to thank God for this privilege to be here. I certainly want to greet the ministers, our host pastor, Pastor Jabez Kamita, and man, we've certainly had a time. My, my, my. Amen. I, I, I tell you, I had about four messages that I preach in a series, and I preach number one. And brother Isaac come and he preach two, three. So I got to find something else. My, my, my. But I tell you, it's one spirit. One anointing. Is that right? Hallelujah. And our precious brother, Delhi, the first time I, I saw him on tape, I know there was something about the band. Amen. I, I told him, I said, listen. This kind of ministry can't just be in one country. This kind of ministry is for the bride. Hallelujah. And there's some one place and said we are the only one. But I believe it's a many membered body all over the face of the earth. Hallelujah. With one voice. Which is a final voice to the final age. Amen. Praise God. Laying out the adoption of sons coming into manifestation. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's where we are. You got to be able to identify your day and its message. I want to thank God for the sisters who work in the background, try to pro provide for everybody and the young men who try to take care of the systems, the singers, the musicians, May God bless you. And may God bless your effort. And I know there's a great reward that await the people of God. And for those brethren who have traveled many miles to be here. Hallelujah. I was talking to my friend Brother Gideon. And to hear they've traveled maybe more than 10 hours to get here. Man, it blew my mind. Because where I come from. If you travel 10 times, you might have been around the island 15 times. Amen. We're just a little dot. Amen. But God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't come to gain from the flesh, but we come to gain in the spirit. Amen. You see, this is being added to the theophany. Putting on word on top of word on top of word. Because one of these days we're going to leave out of here. Hallelujah. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. Amen. I thank God my treasures is somewhere else. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so again, just bringing you greetings from the saints on the little island of Jamaica. Amen. Praise God. And we thank God for Brother Wood. You know, I was thinking that you go to a meeting and you meet brothers for the first time and you become friends for life. Amen. Amen. I would never forget these brothers that I've met on this trip. May God bind our hearts together, break down the middle walls of partition. Sometimes it's doctrine that divide the saints of God, but I trust God we're getting to a place where we're going to lay all that aside. And let Jesus Christ be glorified. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we want to begin tonight. Hallelujah. I'd like to speak for a little bit on the dispensation of adoption. Amen. We want to turn to a box, to Bibles, to the book of Galatians chapter uh, 8. I'm going to read from verse 14. And as we find it, we're going to talk to the author 
of the word tonight. May God give us strength. Hallelujah. Amen. To bring him on the scene. Hallelujah. May we pray. Almighty God and our Father, Lord, your servants report for duty. Lord God, we pray that, oh God, as the prophet declared that the greatest that a man can do is get himself out of the way. Lord God, may you take us out of the way tonight that, Lord Jesus, you might be glorified behind skin. Lord God, you know the needs of the people. Lord, we can be so prepared to present ourselves until we miss the needs of the people. But Lord God, may we get into the spirit tonight. Lord God, may we be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and the needs of your children, God. And Lord, may you minister to each one individually. Lord God, you know what you want to say. You know where the people live. Lord God, you know the things that affect us. Lord God, get down to the place where we are. And Lord God, may the waters be troubled tonight. Lord Jesus, may the token be on display. May the bloody word go forth, O oh God. And Lord God, may it reach the needs of your children. Bless every hearers that hear your word and the lips that speak it. And Lord God, we pray that, Lord God, we might be like those from, hallelujah, Jerusalem to Eminus. Did not our hearts burn with us as he speak to us along the way? Bless us now as we look to you and believe you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For he have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but he have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Habba Father. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then hear, hears of God and joint here with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who was subject the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And you know when Paul speak, it was way back then. But there's something about the word of God we can take it present tense. So it's grown until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the spirit. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to with the redemption of our bodies. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man saith, why does he yet hope for it? But we, but if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of the word. You may be seated. I'm going to make mention of other scriptures as I go on. Hallelujah. You see, first thing, when we talk about our adoption, you see, God don't adopt the devil's children like our brother showed us this morning. Hallelujah. God can only adopt his own. Is that right? You see, in the West, we look at adoption. Or I, I speak, you know, to us today, we look at an adoption is that you have no children. And you go and you take somebody else's children and you make those children your own. But that is not the Jewish adoption. In the Jewish adoption, it is a son. He's born a son. But the father has got to wait until that son 
comes to maturity. So the Bible said, though he's a son, he's under tutorship and government until the time appointed of the father. Hallelujah. And even in the walk of Jesus, amen, we see him walk that part, amen, of the Jewish adoption. Amen. There at Jordan, when he was baptized of John, amen, the word is, this is my beloved son in whom I'm pleased to dwell in. Hallelujah. Amen. But there at Mount Transfiguration, hallelujah, the Bible said he was transfigured before them. Hallelujah. And the voice speaker, hallelujah, said, hear he him. He had moved from, amen, just a son under tutorship, amen, to the voice, hallelujah, of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Though he was born almighty God. Amen. But that was a foretaste. Amen. To you and I. Amen. God showing you and I. Amen. Exactly where he's going to bring us. Amen. To pray. Hallelujah. To take us where he wants us. Hallelujah. So the prophet of God said. He said your adoption is not your birth. Your adoption is your placing. Hallelujah. Amen. See you are predestined. Unto adoption. Adoption is a placing of a son. So though he were a son. He was born a son. But he was under tutorship. And government. Until the time appointed. Of the father. Amen. You were born. Oh hallelujah. Into the kingdom of God. By your faith. But when you come in. Amen. You are a little shaky. You are a little rocky. Amen, you had some high times and some low times. Amen, you've got times when you did not know. Amen, whether you were saved or not. Amen, but as long as you stay under the presence. Amen, of the word of God to get ripened. Amen, what the word of God is doing. It is building a body around your born again experience. Hallelujah. Amen. He said a man... When a man who is once anointed with the Holy Ghost, uh, amen, to be adopted into the family of God, uh, to be positionally placed by the Father and set into service uh, out here into a, a purpose of life uh, or what God has called you for. Hallelujah. He said your very walk uh, it's got to be holy, holy, and holy. Is that right? Hallelujah. Amen. God can't adopt a sinner. And if you're an halfway Christian, amen, you are still a sinner. Amen. But God is calling you up into the summit. Amen. Of his word. Hallelujah. God is calling you up. Hallelujah. You're going to come out of the Ephesian church. Amen. You're going to come through the church age. Amen. The prophet of God said, Amen. John becomes a bride. You're going to come to that place. Hallelujah. Where you get the call. Amen. Of Revelation 4.1. Amen. Come up higher. Hallelujah. Amen. You've come past this mountain. Amen. Long enough. Amen. God's looking. He's searching the earth. Amen. God wants some sons and some daughters who are mature by his word. Amen. God wants some sons. Amen. That can manage the word of God. Amen. God wants some sons. Amen. That have given up the things of the world and are totally sold out to God. That's what God wants. God's looking for somebody that he can have confidence in. He's looking for another job where he can say, have you considered my servant Job? Amen. Like there's none like him in all the earth. Amen. Why? Because God have confidence in you. Hallelujah. Amen. He said now placing the son. First thing after the son was in. He become a son. But then we find out his behavior. Is what set him to adoption. Is a right? His behavior. Hallelujah. How you conduct business. How you deal with your children. How you talk to your wife. Come on with me now. Don't get quiet on me. Hallelujah. How oh, you deal with one another. 
Amen. If you've got the love of God in your heart. Amen. If you've got any grace. Amen. Inside of your heart. It is your behavior. Amen. That determine your adoption. Are you telling me somebody? Amen. God wants his son. Amen. To act right. To behave right. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants a son. Amen. That he can put his word upon him. Amen. And he doesn't act like a fool or a lunatic. Amen. Because he's stable. Amen. And conscious. Amen. Of God's program. Is that right? You see, you've got to come to that point. Amen. When God begins to work through you, you don't take the glory for yourself. Hallelujah. Oh, I did this. I did that. No, sir. You're just a son of God. Amen. Being used by God. Hallelujah. And it's not because of your goodness. It's not because of who you are. It's because of who God is. Amen. God love you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I tell you. Amen. What God wants in this hour. Amen. It's not gifted men. No, sir. The world want gifted men, but God don't want gifted men. Amen. God want humble. Amen. Broken vessels. Amen. That God can use. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why God tell Jeremiah. He said, Jeremiah, I want you to go down. Hallelujah. To the potter's house. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah went down. Amen. To the potter's house. And he began to watch Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Watch the potter. Amen. Roll the wheel. Hallelujah. With a clay in his hand. And the Bible said, Amen. The clay was marred in the potter's hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that's like some of you tonight. Amen. You're in a position. Amen. Where your life is marred. Amen. The devil is all over you. Amen. But God said, I want you to watch the potter with the clay. And when the clay was marred, hallelujah. The potter never throw that clay away. But the potter get down. Hallelujah. And the pieces, the same pieces, he began to pick up. Hallelujah. That's why I'm here tonight. Because the potter never throw the clay away. But over and over, he mold me and made me. Jesus, my Lord, my Lord, hallelujah. And then God said to Jeremiah, hallelujah, ask Israel, can I, I do with you what the potter has done with the clay? Jesus, can God do that with you tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. He said, now the Pentecostal people. Amen has never come to the place. Amen where the church is getting now. Amen to the into adoption. Into the placing of sons. They never preached that. Because it was never revealed to them. But we thank God. Amen we can't preach this. Amen because we went to schools of theology. Amen but we can preach it. Amen because God sent us a prophet. Hallelujah. Amen that break for the bread of life. Are you there with me? We had the Bible. We had the word. Amen. We had everything. But we didn't know what to do with it. Amen. But God sent us a voice in this day. Hallelujah. It was a scriptural voice. Amen. That take the word of God. Amen. And dress the bride. Amen. But in the message in life, the prophet said, he said, Hallelujah. That's the reason, brethren. That we are holding up the adoption of God has our differences in life. Did you hear me? Our differences in life. Sometimes it's our little doctrines. Sometimes it's our little ways. Sometimes it's our complex. Amen. Because of that, amen, we are holding up the adoption of God. Amen. And God want to move. But we're not ready to move. Because we are in our little corner. And we are satisfied in our little corner. Amen. But I tell you, God cannot be contained in your little corner. God is bigger than your corner. Oh, a different.
differences in life who are fussing, who are quarreling amongst one another. Hello, somebody. Is the reason the veil can drop behind us and we can go into the presence of God. That's the reason we can't go into the holiest of all. You said, brother, oh, you said, brother, it's not my problem. It's the other brother. It's not my problem. It's the other brother. It's not my problem. It's the other brother. But the prophet of God said, when they build a circle, hallelujah, and circle you, build a bigger circle. Is that right? I tell you tonight, I don't want nobody to hinder me from going home. Hallelujah. Jesus. If it's going to take forgiveness, I'm going to forgive. If it's going to take grace, I'm going to extend grace. If it's going to take love, I'm going to love you with everything that I've got. And when my love run out, let God's love take over. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. And so we are groaning. Eh? We are groaning. You see, groan. Hallelujah. It's not by itself an end. But groaning is a sign that there's something happening on the inside of the inside. Hallelujah. There's something shut up on the inside. And in that need to come out. Hallelujah. And he said, We are groaning, waiting for that time of adoption. Hallelujah. And we believe that one of these days uh, the Holy Spirit will move in. Uh, amen. Not with a new birth. No, you're already born again. Hallelujah. Amen. For we have received. Uh, hallelujah. That true Christ. Uh, amen. But you adopt. Uh, amen. Your church then. The church is waiting on me. It's waiting on you. Uh, amen. It's adoption time. In other words, and what is adoption? It is full maturity. What is full maturity? It is maturing of the grain. Because we have seen the seed again. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why. Amen. We've got churches. Amen. With a lot of noise. Amen. But it's weak and powerless. Amen. That's why. Amen. There's no miracle among us. Amen. Because we haven't got the heart. Amen. To get there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, he said it's adoption time when God can pour into his fullness, his power, his resurrection. Amen. That's when the church, amen, and Christ become so close together till Christ become visible amongst us and raise the dead. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to the rapture. Is it right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. In adoption, there's a law. Is that right? Adoption is operated by a law. Amen. Glory. He said, if we have time, a few hours, amen, to go into the adoption to show how God, amen, pull his people out and his son was adopted into the family after he was already a son. Amen. Born into the family. He become adopted into the family also. He was adopted, taken out. Uh, amen. And put a white robe on. Uh, amen. And he was adopted into the same family that he was born into. If he proved to be a fine son. Uh, hallelujah. Until uh, he was of age and correctly. Amen. About his father's business. Amen. He said God done the same thing. Uh, amen. To his son. Uh, he took him apart and pulled him, amen, up on the mountain, amen, and there overshadowed him, and his garment glister, amen, like the sun, in its strength like that, amen, and a voice speak from heaven and said, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved son, now be honest with yourself, can God say that tonight about you? Can God have confidence uh, in you so much? Uh, I mean that God said, uh, this is my son. Uh, this is my daughter. I'm pleased to dwell in them. Uh, hear he him. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, brethren, we're still a little bit way off from where we should have been. Hallelujah. You notice Jesus, he never said, thus said the Lord. You know why? He is the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The message. Amen. Come. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Brennan preached that message. The invisible union of the earthly bride and the heavenly bridegroom. Amen. What he was doing. He was presiding over the marriage. Amen. Though some of us was not yet born. But he was presiding over the marriage of the bride. Because of bride. Hallelujah. Amen. The bride is not only the people. Amen. That heard him back then. Amen. But the many membered body. Amen. That will come years after. Amen. You weren't there in 1963. You weren't there in 1965. But the word back then. It speak of you. And I want to give you news tonight. Not because you were there before me. You have not more of the message. Amen. Than what I have. Amen. Because God have no grandchildren. Everyone that comes is another son of God are you there with me hallelujah thank God he have no grandchildren amen but everyone that come is another son of God Woo, Jesus my, my, my. that if we are here long enough amen there's going to be some young men amen that's going to rise up and preach the true gospel oh hallelujah We live in a time where the gospel has become meal ticket. Where men holding their position, they're afraid to lose it. Huh? Hallelujah. And so they stifle the young men. Hallelujah. That God try to move in their lives. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you tonight, when you feel the move of God in your life, amen, let nobody shut you down. It might not be your time for manifestation, but wait on your time. Hallelujah. And don't run ahead of your calling. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes some men has got to leave the church. John the Baptist had to leave the church. Amen. To manifest what God called him for. But that was God's way. But I tell you this. Amen. When David was anointed king of Israel. Saul was still the king. Is that right? I said Saul was still on the throne when God ordained David. Amen. As a king. Amen. And David went up to the palace. Amen. And realized it was a time yet. And so he had to run for his life. Amen. But I'll give you a lesson tonight. I want you to listen to me. When David left Saul house, he never carried Saul's servants. Can I say that again? When David left Saul's house, he never carried Saul's servants. Hallelujah. But as he went out all alone, amen, along the way, begin to pick up, amen, gentle warriors. Hallelujah. They cast out. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. But those cast out, amen, that he got along the way, they respected him. They stood with him. Hallelujah. He was their king. Amen. Coming into power and the kind of loyalty that they had. One day, David. Hallelujah. Upon the hills, amen, he looked down into Bethlehem. Hallelujah, and remember, amen, the waters of the well of Bethlehem. And said, oh, he wasn't talking to them. He was just reasoning out loud. If I could one more time, amen, drink of the waters of the well of Bethlehem. Hallelujah, glory. And those gentle warriors, hallelujah. Somebody said, you hear me king? You hear me king? You hear me king? He would like a drink of water from the wells of Bethlehem. And they pulled their sword 26 miles. Hallelujah. They chopped going to old Jesus. Hallelujah. To get the drink of water. And when they bring it to David, there was too much blood. He poured it out as an offering. My, 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 glory, Jesus.
Jesus. When he became king, what was his concern? His concern was not, amen, the strength of his army. His concern was not, amen, the strength of his, hallelujah, of the men around him. His concern, amen, was God's will. Amen, and I want you to look at the life of David. Hallelujah, the Bible said he was a man of God's own heart. Amen, that now he take the throne. He didn't start chopping and cutting and pushing men down. Amen, but he sit there at his table and he had his feast. Amen, and David said, is there any left of the hope of Saul that I might show compassion to him? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody said your time is over. It's my time. No, no. But David realized uh, there was a man before me. Uh, hallelujah. Is there any of his servants? Uh, amen. That left uh, that I might show compassion. Oh, there was one. A Mephibosheth. Uh, and he was lame to the foot. Uh, hallelujah. And the servants of David go tell him. Uh, amen. The King David sent for you. Hallelujah. And he, he, he said of himself, should the king call for a dead dog? Amen. Like I am. Amen. But I want to tell you, when you're in God's stead, amen, you don't do what man do. Hallelujah. There's no grudge. Amen. When you do God's work. Hallelujah. Amen. When you do God's work, it's not yours. It is the Lord's. Can I preach? I've seen instances. I've seen instances where ministers pass and their families right there in the church and their wife, oh hallelujah, has got a fen for food and you've got your pastor's wife, amen, sitting there. Now you take, amen, the position and you forbid his family. It's a disgrace. Amen. Even in message circles. Amen. The mothers of our church. Oh, we ought to care for them. Oh, we ought to realize. Amen. That there was a day when God. Amen. Used their prayer. Amen. To keep us. And it's our duty to care for the mothers. And the widows of the church. And until the church does that. It will not come into its adoption. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. In the message, hear ye him. He said in the Old Testament, amen, we find out that when a man had a great kingdom, amen, and he had a son born into his home, amen, then that son, of course, amen, was a son as soon as he was born, but yet he had no inheritance until he was positionally placed, hallelujah, adopted into the family. So until you're adopted, you have no inheritance. Hallelujah. I said until you're adopted, you have no inheritance. That's why you live below your privilege. Jesus. Hallelujah. They call it adoption. Now the sound, if that sounds strange, but now, amen, here is where the Pentecostal church, to my opinion, got off instead of getting on. You know that, amen, what happened when, amen, that boy become a certain age, that the boy was adopted into the family. Amen, and brother Key, what are you saying? What are you laboring on? You've got to be adopted in the family of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. And he said, what the church needs tonight, hallelujah, it needs to be a place that God will call you off somewhere. Amen. And throw his glory over you. Amen. Spread his power upon you. Adopt you and place your glory into the body where you are. Hallelujah, you speak. Hallelujah, something happen. Amen. That's what the church is needing tonight. The church is needing. Amen. A call to adoption. Hallelujah. But the church can't call. Amen. For that adoption until young men are ready to be adopted. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you still there with me? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Because when you become adopted, then you become manifested sons. Hallelujah. He said, Hallelujah, raising Jairus daughter. He said, and now he's manifested in the hallelujah in the flesh by being adopted son. Amen. And daughter of, to the kingdom of God. Amen. Through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's right. And you become joint heir. Amen. With the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, church. You've got the power. If you've got the faith, hallelujah to hallelujah to use it. You've got the power. If you've got the faith to use it. Why? Hallelujah. Lord, give me power. Give us power, Lord. Give us power. But you've got the power. The power is yours. Hallelujah. The power is yours. Amen. Have you got the faith to use the power? Amen. We worry about what people are going to say. What are your brethren going to say? Brethren, I'll tell you, people worry if somebody says something about them. But if God's working on your life, somebody's going to be talking about you. Whether they talk good or they talk bad. Amen. You remember last night? Hallelujah. He saw soul, the bird rat. Amen. But later on, he said that, uh, amen, Jacob stole it. Is it right? He sold, he sold it. But later on, he said he stole my bird right. Is it right? Hallelujah. And that's what they do. They don't want it. But if you come up and take it. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, we ought to be at the place Amen. That when the old fathers and mothers, amen, start to get cool off and cold in their experience, amen, God will rise up young men. Hallelujah. Full of fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But you can't move in it until you've received the power. But the Bible said in Acts 1 8, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Are you there with me? And the true Holy Ghost will lead you into your adoption. My Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we get to the place. Amen, where you want to preach before you have a message to preach. Amen. You, you want to be seen. You want to go somewhere. Hallelujah. Amen, you look at a preacher today and say, I, I want to be like brother so-and-so. I want to preach like brother so-and-so. Amen, but you don't know. Amen, the path that God brought him through. Amen, to bring him to where he is. Hallelujah. Glory! Hallelujah! Amen! You don't know the time. Amen! That he spent empty. You don't know the time. Amen! That he spent all alone. Amen! With God. You don't know the time. Amen! When he go to the valleys of decision. Amen! All alone. Amen! But you don't know the fire of God that rise him up under the power of the Holy Ghost. You don't know the sacrifice. And if you want great things, amen, you've got to go hungry for it. For he that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. In the message serpent seed. Hallelujah. You know, Brother Brandon said a ministry must come to perfection. For if the ministry don't come to perfection, it can't preach the people to perfection. Hallelujah. And the ministry can't come to perfection if the minister is preaching himself. Hello. Hallelujah. Amen. Mother. The prophet of God said, 
a ministry come to perfection when it preached Jesus Christ naturally among the people. Is the right? Amen. The focus of everything that you do, it's not yourself. It is Christ. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So he said, God hid it from the eyes of the wise and prudent. Amen. And promised to reveal it. Amen. To sons of God in the last day. When the sons of God would be made manifest. Hallelujah. When God's son. Hallelujah. That rejoiced with him before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. When the great revelation of the God and things. Amen. Would be brought down into the last days. He would manifest those things. Amen. To the sons of God. Amen. You know the scripture teaches that. Amen. And here we are. That's the reason that God is opening up. Uh, amen. These things to up. Uh, amen. God is bringing uh, his sons into manifestation. Uh, he's going beyond the limitation uh, of any human knowledge. Is that right? Uh, hallelujah. Way into the spiritual revelation. Uh, amen. To bring it down. Amen. Hallelujah. And we only need to be careful now. Because adoption means growth. Adoption means growth. Amen. Hallelujah. Adoption is growth. Hallelujah. You're not a, if a baby stay at the same stage from the day he was born. Hallelujah. What we call him dwarf. And there's people around the message for years. And they're just dwarf. That's what you call Dwarf. Yeah. Dwarf. Because they're not growing. These people around the message. If they were out in the local Baptist church, it wouldn't make no difference. Because they are not there for the revelation of the word. Hallelujah. And what they want in the sour is something to do. Is a right. Hallelujah. But in Genesis, hallelujah, Cain thought, amen, that his works could put him in. Hallelujah. But Abel realized it's got to take revelation. He's a right. Amen. This hour is not the hour for work. It's the hour for revelation. Because if you try to work without revelation, your work is in vain. He's a right. Hallelujah. Glory. And revelation come from one place. It come from the throne of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. So what we need. Hallelujah. Is not more missionary. No. We need more revelation. Of God's word. So the people know who they are. Hallelujah. For the Bible declaring Daniel, hallelujah, 11, 32, the people that know their God shall be strong and shall do great exploits. But you've got to know your God. Jesus, my Lord, my, my, my. Woo. If you know your God, you shall do great exploits. In the Smyrna church age. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's everything waiting and what's everything waiting on? What's the whole creation waiting for? The manifestation of the sons of God. Hallelujah. It's waiting for the church. Amen. Hallelujah. To become. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we are so called. Amen, we did not become seed by the rebirth. We were seed and therefore were reborn. For only the elect can be reborn because we were seed. Hallelujah is a reason that we could be quickened in seed. There's nothing to quicken. Hallelujah. And if God quickened you by the word, it's because you're a seed of God. Hallelujah. No, no, let me say this to you. A lot of young men are looking at uh, their own limitation. Is that right? They're looking at their abilities. Is that right? 
And sometimes, uh, hallelujah, human ability cover. Hallelujah, and hide the real plan of God. Is that right? But I tell you, when God call a man, God don't call him because of his earthly ability. Is that right? Hallelujah. No, sir. What God wanted a vessel that can be emptied. Amen. Sometimes people think that, oh, because I can sing, God's really going to use me. God don't need your singing if you're not surrendered. God don't need your preaching if you're not surrendered. Amen. God don't want your testimony if you're not surrendered. Because if you're not surrendered, what you're doing is projecting yourself. Amen. God don't want nothing of you be seen. Amen. God want himself. Amen. To be glorified. Amen. Beyond skin. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you're a predestinated son, amen, God can work his work through you. Hallelujah. He could work through Christ. He was a lamb of God. Jesus had to know his position. Hallelujah. And when the devil tempt him, hallelujah, he could say, it is written. It is written. But I want to tell you, Amen. The written word, hallelujah, has power. Amen. But not as much power as a spoken word. The letter kill, but the spirit give life. He's a writer. You can pack every book. You can pack the Bible. You can know every verse. Amen. But if that verse, amen, don't step from the page and step into a seven thunder body. Amen. Then it has no power. Hallelujah. Glory. Are you there with me? Amen. A man can know the word. He can quote the scripture. He can quote the message. But there is no power behind it. Because he don't know who he is. Is that right? Woo. Y yesterday I saw. Amen. The police officer by the home. Amen. And you know they sit there. He took off his shoes and was relaxing. And a young man come and he was polishing his shoes and shining it. And when the young man was finished, he put on his boot, he laced it tight. He stand up. He fixed his uniform. He said, now I feel like a man. He said, and when I wear this uniform, he let me feel proud. Amen. To wear this uniform. He was wearing the uniform of the Nigerian police force. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell him, I said, I'm uniformed to. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. My shirt might not match my pants like yours, but I wear a uniform of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I've been baptized by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I know my position. My, my. You see, we look at human ability. So that we get so poised. Amen. You, you got to say it a certain way. You got to pray a certain way. When you stand there you got to be a certain way. A little look like dignitary. That's not what God call. God call rugged men. Hallelujah. And when God was looking for men. He went by the seashore. Hallelujah. And he find a man, hallelujah, that could not even read his name. Amen, called Simon Peter. And Jesus said, come follow me. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen, why did God call that kind of man? Amen, that's a kind of man. Amen, that David had follow him. Amen, in his pre-king days, there were warriors. Amen, God knows that if they ever find something that they could hold on to, they're going to hold on to it with everything. You've got to be hungry for the things of God. 
and that's where Jacob was hallelujah hallelujah amen Jacob was a trickster he was a little thief hallelujah remember amen to his father-in-law hallelujah put those pedal stick in the water when the pregnant cow come to drink hallelujah and what they're looking at they were bringing forth hallelujah and he tell his father-in-law amen the ones that come spotted their man the ones that plain they are yours hallelujah he was a little trickster but he had the birthright and the blessing his right but his life was still not in order hallelujah but he had made a pledge with God in a covenant he said Lord if you'll bring me back to my father's house in peace if you will keep me where I'm going hallelujah if you put bread on my table then you will be my God hallelujah Jesus amen and he was coming back hallelujah to his father's house he had a pledge from God hallelujah God made the promise amen but when you get close to the shore amen somebody tell him your brother he saw he's over the river and he's looking for you I'm gonna tell you brethren sometimes you've got the promise sometimes you got the birth right sometimes you got the blessing but that thing's not going the way you want it amen so Jacob said he lay his wife aside put his children aside he said I've got to have conference with God hallelujah amen and that night he went into a cave Jesus and I tell you God will always hear a desperate cry hallelujah Jesus hallelujah and that night amen hallelujah the Bible said the angel of God amen come into the cave brother Branham said and when Jacob found something amen that was real he hold on to it he said that's a problem with the people today they find something that is real but they're not holding on they're letting go brethren I'll tell you if you know this is a truth if you know this word is going to deliver this body if you know this message is preparing you for a rapture hold on with everything that you've got hold on hold on hold on hold on I don't see the blessing yet but hold on he said I won't let you go until you bless me that night his walk was changed his talk was changed in other words every step that he take from that time on was a reminder hallelujah this blessing did not come easy but i had to wrestle wrestle until he blessed me hallelujah jesus it's not good enough to be in a message church. The message has got to be in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory. The dispensation of your adoption. It's got your position. Because your adoption is your placing. In the manifestation of the spirit. Hallelujah. The prophet says, I find two classes of people. One, the fundamentalist. Hallelujah, and the other one, the full gospel. And they're both fine class of people. But there's a trouble. He said the fundamental know what they are positionally in Christ. But they don't know much. They don't have much faith to exercise it. So they're saying we are. We are. And they're still weak. Huh? We are, and you ain't got no power. Jesus. Hallelujah. He said the full gospel. Got plenty of faith, 
but don't know what they are. Amen. He said Africa could just get the two together. And that's what Brother Daly was doing this morning to let you see exactly who you are. For not all Israel is Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. The revival bring forth twins. You got to declare who you are. Is that right? Amen. He said, but the problem of it, everybody's trying to take the other man's position. Hallelujah. Everybody's trying to pack the ball. Everybody wants to be the man. Is that right? Hallelujah. Amen. But David, hallelujah, he had many battles. He had many pitfalls. Hallelujah. Yet he had many victory. Hallelujah. He come to a stage. He didn't know no more what to do. Hallelujah. So he began to rely upon God. And God said to him, he said, David, I want you to wait. I want you to wait exactly where you are until you hear the rustling in the mulberry tree. He said, then you will know that the move is on. Amen. And I tell you, my brother, my sister, in your life, Amen. Sometimes you gotta wait. Amen. Sometimes you feel impulse. Amen. But it's not God time yet. Amen. Wait until you hear the rustle in the mulberry tree. I want if you hear me and everything you're doing, laugh. Amen. Wait upon the Lord. If you want to get married, wait on God. If you're looking for a wife, wait on God. If you're looking for a husband, wait on God. If you're looking for your ministry wait on God hallelujah for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like he does hallelujah Jesus for if you don't wait God will give you a Jezebel God will give you a Delilah. Hallelujah. And sometimes that Delilah don't come from outside. It come from right among message ranks. Oh Lord Jesus help us. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you got to wait upon the Lord. He's the right if your body feel like hallelujah you're getting beside yourself amen go down in prayer until god bring your body under subjection to the word i want if you hear me amen sometimes in the church amen there's pressure on a young man or a young woman to get married amen but wait on the lord i want if you hear me somebody glory amen glory for if you marry the wrong person, you're always looking to find the right one. Hallelujah. You see, I married to my wife 31 years ago. Hallelujah. She was only 20. I was 23. Is that right? And we tied the knot. Amen. You know, I walk down the street and people begin to look at us because she looked like a little baby that still should be in her mother's house. Amen. But 31 years after, Amen. Many waters gone under the bridge. I still love her and I love her more today. Amen. Than the day when we get married. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And when I told her, Hallelujah, sinner, Texas says, Amen, I read safely in Nigeria. She said, honey, I love you. And I just miss you. And I said, honey, I love you. And I miss you. Hallelujah. Amen, that's a love for my wife. Hallelujah, glory. Amen. But I tell you, I've got another love. Amen. When I was 18 years old, Amen, I came across, Amen, the message of the hour. When, when I was a young man, my mother, she didn't read very well. But she worked with expatriates, white people. And all the books she gets, she would carry them home. 
And she brought home a brown book one time. And the cover it says, Footprints on the Sand of Time. I take that book. And we, I know you have it like where we have it. The toilet is down there. It's not connected to the house. But every time I leave the book there and every time I go to do my business, I want to get comfortable. And when I set myself, I take up the book and I read some more pages. Hallelujah. And there was something in it that grabbed me. Hallelujah. I've grown up a Baptist. But something in this little book grabbed me. I tell you, God know the way he's going to bring you. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> he said to Jeremiah, he said, Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, hallelujah, I call you, not only that, I ordain you. I wonder if you hear me, somebody. Amen. And I went to high school, hallelujah. And when I was in high school, I had a friend. Amen. And he seems a little different. But you know, I, I live inland. And if you know Jamaica, Jamaica has the most beautiful beaches. That when you look at the picture, you see them women in their swimsuit parading on the beach. And my friend, he lived on the northern coast where the beaches were. And brother, I felt a draw to go there and so he invited me over because his father was a minister now I'm learning and they're having ministers coming from abroad hallelujah and they, they, they want to bring me over and I went with him and I tell you I went to the beach and man it was nice but then they put on this big reel they wanted me to hear something that was special and I begin to hear life story of William Branham Glory. Hallelujah. Brethren, I tell you, when the deep call to the deep, there's got to be a deep to respond to that call. Hallelujah. If you ask me why I was there, I want to be on the seaside. I want to see the nice women in swimsuit. But God has, oh hallelujah. And I tell you when the Holy Ghost, amen, of leadership of your life. It doesn't matter what you do and where you go. Amen, God has a hand in your life. And when God has a hand in your life, amen, I tell you tonight, hallelujah, God going to get you. God gonna get you. You can run all you want, but God's gonna get you. That night, when I listened to the life story, we sit there in the dark, and tears begin to run down my face, and they didn't understand the depth of my story. But here it is, that book that I had in the toilet that I read every now and then. Here the same book. Hey, now I begin to play right in my ears. Hallelujah, I begin to hear things. Amen, of miracles and healing. Amen, that I've never heard before. Amen, what is it? Amen, and I tell you, brethren. Hallelujah, you might come to another way. Amen, but God is a way. Amen, that God's gonna get you. Is that right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God begins to take all of my young life, Food wasn't sweet anymore. Hallelujah. My, my, my. The places that young men go, it didn't entice me anymore. Hallelujah. Because there was a power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That was all over my life. All of the son said, Jesus got a hold of my life and he won't let me go. Jesus got into my life. He got into my soul. Hallelujah. And that's what you want. You want Jesus to get down in your soul. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then I begin to think that these things are things that happened way back then. And it didn't happen again. I begin to hear the testimony of my pastor then. Brother Thomas Brady. You can hear that in the message what's the attraction on the mountain. That he was going to America for about might be the second time he was going to Brother Branham's meeting. The first time he went to North Carolina. And this time a brother took him up to Jeffsville, Indiana to the tabernacle. And this was 1965. And he said, in the morning they went there early in the tabernacle. And they waited at the door. He was the only black person there. And people were pressing against each other. And he said, when the door opened, he said he didn't know why people could push that hard. But he says they push. He just followed with it and just grab a seat. Hallelujah. And he said that day, that morning, hallelujah, brother Branham preached a message. Him and the anointed ones on the end time. And he said he listened. And at the end of it, he had, amen, hallelujah, a discernment and hallelujah, calling people. He said, I didn't understand a word that he said in that message. He said, they went to him. And they came back to the following message for the following service. Hallelujah. And he said the same thing and he pressed in and he, he got into the church. And Brother Branham preached a message. What's the attraction on the mountain? And he said this time I could follow him. Hallelujah. He said when he was leaving North Carolina, he had left his wife, Sister Gloria, and she was pregnant with the first child. And he said while he was there in North Carolina, he received a letter through the mail. And the letter said that the doctor had confined her to the bed because her feet were swollen from the pregnancy. And he said he didn't tell anybody about it. You know, you don't want him to send you home before the time. So he kept, he pushed the letter in his jacket pocket and he went to the meeting with he had it there in the morning, the evening, he came back to church and the letter was in his pocket. And he said, Brother Branham had preached the message and he, he went on and he began to discern. Hallelujah. And he was calling people and he said, he sit there and Brother Branham move and his eyes made forward. And he said, he duck and he called somebody behind him. And he said, as he was there, Brother Branham went on another time and he came and his eyes caught him. And he said, something moved through him. Hallelujah. There was something about those eyes. He could not move. And he said, he began to talk. He said, I see a colored man here. He's not from here. I see many waters. He said, sir, do you believe God know what your name is? He said, Mr. Brady. <laughs> You've got a letter in your pocket. Hallelujah, your wife is sick. You say you got a problem on your heart. It's not for you. It's for your wife. Hallelujah. He tell you the story. Hallelujah. And he said your wife feed his soul and the doctor can't find her. He said, but be, hallelujah, you can go on home. She's well. And back there in Jamaica, she was in the bed. And right there and then she forget what the doctor says. And step out of the bed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is a mighty God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And everything was okay. I know I was a young man. I got baptized. Man are watching this thing. Because we Baptists, we are very skeptical, you know. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, you got to watch these things because false prophet have gone out into the world and I was watching. And I remember Brother Brady, my pastor, he was having a heart problem. And he went to the doctor and they took an x-ray. And I saw it myself. His heart was swollen. Almost cover both sides of his chest. They had to take him into Kingston to the specialist. 
Hallelujah. And the specialist examining it. Set him back for another day. Hallelujah. And they're scheduling to do more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we were praying and he was praying. And he came out of this room. He said, I was lying in the bed. Hallelujah. And I feel like a finger touched me in my back. Hallelujah. They got up early in the morning and traveled to Kingston. And the doctor went in and take another x-ray. And asked him, come up with it and said, sir, what is your name? He said, my name is Mr. Brady. He said, you know, begin to interrogate him. Because he's looking at one x-ray where his heart is swollen. And the other one, it is normal. <laughs> Hallelujah. I tell you, God's got to do something. Hello, somebody. Jesus, my Lord. Amen. I tell you, I went into the bush. Amen. Beside the house. Amen. And daily I begin to see God. Hallelujah. All alone. Amen. I tell you, now I get to the stage. Amen. Where nobody can stand with me. Amen. Lord, I want an experience. If this is a real God, Lord, I want you. And Lord, I want you now. Amen. Oh, let me be quick. Amen. You know, hallelujah, it happened that I start pastoring. They invited me to preach to a church. Amen. Somebody I work with, he said, come over and preach at our church. I went there, I preached from Monday to Friday. They were a part of an organization. Amen. On Friday night when I was through preaching, amen, all the women get together and they resign as officers of the church. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they begin to take off their hat. Hallelujah. Amen. They begin to believe God's word. When the people believe the word, it spread like wildfire. Everybody know about it. Hallelujah. The churches, everybody was against us. Amen. We didn't know a lot, but one thing we know, God's in our prophet and we believe the word. Glory. We begin to see healing. Deliverance. The overseer come from England, from England, and he expelled the whole church. <laughs> he expelled the whole church. No, you believe prophet? You ain't got no church. Let's see what your God going to do. Ooh. We went to an old broken down building. We didn't matter where we meet. Because there was something on the inside working on the outside. And it was greater than all the opposition and the persecution that we were going through. It's the rot. Amen. But we set a tent. We found a piece of land. We were going to build a church. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, people begin to come from near and far to hear us. There was a brother that was a captain. And he was just coming into the message from Kingston. And he came over. His wife was Jehovah's Witness. But to appease her husband, she came to the meeting. Hallelujah. And you know, we're there. The song service was going on. And hallelujah, the end of the song service. And I went forth. And brother, I tell you now to try your feet. They pick up a girl that was crippled. From the back of the church. And they lift her from the chair and come sit her right there before me. And when I look at her, she was just a beautiful girl. But she had this ailment, she was crippled. And I went down in compassion. And I lay hands on her and I pray in the name of that Jesus. And she got up from the, church, the chair. Hallelujah. Today she's a wife of one of our deacons. Hallelujah. Brethren, I'll tell you what, that you can say anything you want to say. I believe a God that heal. And if my God is not a healer, then what is he? But my God is a problem solver. He's a burden bearer. He's a miracle worker. Hello! Hallelujah. Glory. My 
my, my, my. Jesus. Brethren, I'll tell you what. It's not where you started out. No, sir. It's your faith believing in God. He's the writer. And I'll tell you from humbly beginning. Amen. God began to move. Hallelujah. That group of young people. Our average age was about 22 at that time. In 1995. Are you there with me? We did not know everything. But we believed God. And what it takes sometimes. Is childlike faith. In the word of God. To see the power of God come down. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said recognizing your day. But the power of God will put the people in the bride. The world forces this way. Amen. And the, hallelujah. The world forces that way. But God forces upward. Amen. The spirit of God which is the word of God. Amen. My word is spirit and life. Amen. We'll put the bride in her place. Because she recognizes her position in the word. Hallelujah. Glory. And I'll tell you this tonight. Amen. The bride is not married to a son of man. No, sir. She's not married to William Branham. The bride is married to Christ. Is it right? The bride is married to the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Therefore, the Bible said the two shall be one. Therefore, the bride is the Son of Man. Woo. Jesus. My Lord. Hallelujah. Are you still there with me? Amen. You got to know your position. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now listen this. Hallelujah. Hear ye him. Hallelujah. And this is conduct determining his inheritance. What? Is conduct. If he was a good son, he would inherit all the father had. If he was the good son, then he got nothing. He wasn't worthy. Yet he was a son. And just because you have received the Holy Spirit, that doesn't mean that everything just going to be poured out upon your hands. Is that right? Hallelujah. Not because you receive the Holy Ghost. It doesn't mean everything will be poured out into your hand. Amen. God requires holiness. God requires loyalty to his word. Amen. God requires men who are separated. Hallelujah. You got to know who you are. You got to pull away from the shocker and let the seed mature in the rising of the sun. Hallelujah. Psalm 82 and verse 6. I said, I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. Amen. Unfailing realities of God. Brother Brown said, God works through men. He made man his helper unhurt. He made man a lesser God to himself. Hallelujah. In the message, Messiah 1961, he said, When God made man in Genesis 1 26, he showed, he show, if you are putting the scripture down, he said, It shows that God made man to be a God to begin with. Man was made to be a God, a lesser God. He was made in the image and likeness of God. He had hands like God. Hallelujah. He had feet like God. He has eyes, ears, and intelligence like God. Hallelujah. His whole fiber because he was a son of God. Hallelujah. Jesus referred to him as God. Can you take that tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. You see, Moses was crying to God. Hallelujah. Amen. The people cried to Moses. Moses cried to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, Moses, why are you crying to me? I've already given it to you. Speak the word. Speak the word. Hallelujah. What did Jesus know? He speak the word. Hallelujah. 
Is there anything to add for the Lord? Hallelujah. In Genesis 17, Emily revealed himself to Abraham as El Shaddai, the breast of bosom. He said, Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. Who is he talking to you? Hallelujah. Come up in the summit now. Hallelujah. And Abraham was there with God. Hallelujah. Can I hide from God, from Abraham, the things that I will do? Amen. For I will surely bless you and I will make you the father of a nation. And when God tell Abraham, I will bless you and make you a father, Abraham bow down himself. Amen. Before God, he honor God for that. But a little while from that, God said, and Sarah is going to have the son. And you know what Abraham do? He laughed in the face of God. I can do it, but not Sarah. But I tell you tonight, uh, amen, all these mysteries uh, was not for William Branham. Uh, it was for the bride. The bride is a mystery. Hallelujah. The bride is a hope on book. Uh, hallelujah. You step forth uh, from the page of the book. Uh, hallelujah. The revelation of the word uh, have you in it. Uh, amen. God had you uh, in admiration. Oh, Jesus, my Lord, hallelujah, amen, but in Genesis 18, hallelujah, when he appeared, hallelujah, amen, he said, Abraham, I will certainly visit you according to the sign of life, and the prophet says, and the next 28 days, Amen. The woman that was too old. Amen. To bring forth seed. The woman that was barren. Amen. Start to have sensation in her body again. Amen. For Abraham. Amen. And I tell you, my baby. Amen. You've traveled with this message. You've carried this message. Amen. You've been hated. You've been beaten down. Amen. You've been put aside. Amen. That you've lost. Amen. Your life. Amen. But I tell you tonight, bride. The Melchizedek anointing is upon the bride. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're not too tired, you can rise and shine. For thy light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen up upon thee. This is your hour. This is your time. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. You're not barren. This is your time to bring forth life. Ma, ma, Jesus, my Lord. And the Bible said, Sarah, with her back turned to the man speaking to Abram on the outside of the tent, she laughed in her heart. Hallelujah. And the man says, why did Sarah laugh? And Sarah, oh God, she said, I didn't laugh. Brother Brennan says she would have shook her dead. I live for lying in the presence of the Holy Ghost. But because of Abraham, he could not touch Sarah and not touch Abraham. I wonder if you hear me somebody. Glory! closer to the bridegroom is a friend of the bridegroom and we thank God we've got a friend of the bridegroom amen that come to call a bride amen I say to your bride of Christ don't fall in love just with the prophetic forerunner no sir your Isaac is in the tent your Isaac is in the tent hallelujah we're not Branhamites, no sir. We are the seed of Christ. Are you there with me? Amen. God sent an Eliezer. Amen. To call us out. And we came out of Pentecost. And baptism. Amen. Unto the word of God. Amen. Now it's manifesting time. The fruits are on the vine. And the lovely ones are coming in plain view. This is your hour. Don't give up uh, on the brink of your miracle. Don't give up. Uh, amen. When God is going to move. Uh, amen. We are fixing ourselves uh, for a Mount Zion. Rapture showdown. Uh, amen. I say to you tonight, Ryder. Uh, are you ready? Uh, are you ready? Uh, are 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to leave out of here? Glory for one morning between six and nine. There's gonna be a Mount Zion rapture showdown. Let me close. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. My Lord. My Lord. Are you ready? Oh, we're going to land. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. In the message, Fellowship by Redemption. And then got him in connection with his maker. He become a superman almost. Because he's a son of God. And if the devil with full possession of a person can make them that many times stronger than their actual strength, what will God do when he's got full possession of you? But there is no power that can stand against the resurrected power of Jesus Christ. I'm coming down. I was in Liberia preaching and you know at the end of the service the people were at the pearl land and I just have a heart for the young people and the pastor come and he touched me on the shoulder he said brother Keith there's a woman that's possessed with the devil you want to pray for her and I said yes sir and when I turned around and I saw the woman she was like a raging bull hallelujah but I'll tell you this anointing of the Holy Ghost. There is no devil that can stand against it. When you know who you are. Glory. Jesus. I never pray for her. I never touch her. But I pointed to her. And said in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cut out of her. And she let loose. From the grip of the brothers. And she stopped struggling and she swiveled down to the ground and she went down on her prostrate and right there she started to snore. When the service was over and everybody had left the room, she was still there fast asleep. The pastor says, Brother Kate, she must be delivered. I said, as sure as there is a God, she's got to be delivered because God is still God. That's the God who we serve. But you know, brethren, if we accept what the devil has given to us, if we accept what the devil put on us, we will always be defeated. The doctor tell you the demon that you've got and you're contented with it. Hello. The Bible said resist the devil. Adopted sons of God has got to resist the devil. Hey! This third pull will not be a public show. Amen? But he said that which you have seen in a little way will come forth in the fullness of the power when the squeeze come. And I'll tell you what, it's coming on. It's coming on. But I'll tell you what, oh God is not dead. Oh God is not asleep. Hello, he's still alive. Glory. And you've got to come to that point of believing that you've got to look at your body. Jesus. Accepting what is happening in your body. He said, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You can speak to the cancer because the prophet says it's a demon. Speak to the cancer in your body. Speak to the high blood pressure. Speak to the worry. You can take all the pills you want if you want to take it. But that's why God called warriors. Because you're going to come to the point that said if I perish, let me perish. Hallelujah. But I'll tell you the scepter is stretched forth. You can come forth tonight. You can come forth with your worry, with your problem. Adopted sons of God are 
amateur God, your little messiahs on the face of the earth. And the messiah sign is in your midst. Speak the word. And so for your situation tonight, for your host, for your wife, for your husband, for your hand-saved children, you've got the power. 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 Do you believe? Do you believe? Will you believe? Will you believe? Speak. Speak the word. Speak it. Hallelujah. He said you shall speak the word. And it shall flash like lightning. You shall have what you ask. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. If your mind can conceive it. The power of God can reveal it. And I tell you tonight. Bride of Jesus Christ. When there's a setback. When there's a setback in your life. Don't step back. God fixing you. For your comeback. Hallelujah. Because I tell you tonight. Uh, the devil is out like a roaring lion. But God have your back. God have your back. Uh, you cannot fail. And the Bible says. Come here brother. Come here my brother. Stand behind me. Let us form a line. And the Bible said. Uh, well, put your hand on his shoulder. Put your hand on mine. The Bible said. Uh, and what will be with us. Uh, for surely goodness. Uh, and mercy. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. Uh, and I shall dwell. In the house of the Lord. Forever. Amen. Glory. I don't care what the devil does. Uh, Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Praise God somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He's the savior of my soul. He's the savior of my soul. Jesus, my Savior, is the Savior of my soul. He's the Savior of my soul. If you are here and you want to renew your faith, you see your lives still up and down, but you want the Lord Jesus to renew your faith tonight. Can you come to the altar? Come to the altar. I want a new commitment. A new commitment. Yes. Jesus said, You're all my soul. Oh, yes. Oh, Don't be ashamed. My Jesus. Take your place at the altar. Jesus. Take your place at the altar. My Savior. Don't be ashamed. He's a savior, decision. savior of my soul. From the depth of your heart. Oh, he's a savior want to make a commitment? God bless you. My soul. Oh, he's a Jesus. Jesus, my Jesus, my 
my Jesus. Speak to him right now. Jesus say, this is what you come for. You didn't come to see man. You come to see Jesus. You come to see Jesus. And Jesus is here right now. You can reach out. Touch the hem of his garment. Come by faith. Come believing. Come expecting. Let go the devil to see you. All faith is paid for. Ask what you will. Ask and you shall receive. My oh, it shall be open to you. He's the Savior. Talk to the angel. Savior of my soul. God loves you. God loves you. He's the Savior. Jesus cares. Jesus cares. Jesus cares for his own. Oh, he's the Savior. Savior Goodness and mercy shall follow me, my soul, all the days of oh, my life. My Hallelujah! Jesus, Glory, Jesus, my Savior. Oh, oh, He the same Savior of my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Glory. He the same oh yes your the holy spirit is moving soul. anything can happen anything can happen save all his testimonies my soul. Say, I encourage you to know that God is still God this message is not dead my the God of Elijah is still God God is still healing us sick. God is still setting captives free. My soul. Believe with all your heart. He's a savior of my soul. Only believe. Oh, Only believe. Jesus. And nothing shall be impossible. Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, Jesus, he's a savior of my soul, my soul, he's a savior your people you can make this night your night say Lord my soul I believe these things I'm making my commitment I'm making a commitment I will not go back no matter what I will not draw back no matter what no matter what tomorrow holds no matter what it has in store my I'm not soul. going back. I'm not going back to that old life. I'm not going Jesus back to that old nature. Your my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I see passes by. You were here. It's not too, too busy, busy to hear my your heart's cry. He's passing by this moment. All your knees to the soul blind. Reach out and touch the Lord. I see goes by. Reach out. Everywhere, we'll touch the Lord. All over the building, I see God. Hallelujah! Sees by. He's passing by. 
you will find which I can touch him. It's not too busy. Which I my saints just to hear. Which I my saints. Heart cry. He will never pass you by. He will respond. He will not neglect you. He will honor your saints. Your need to, to so blind. I say, reach out and touch the Lord. Lord. I see him. Please reach out. Hallelujah. Touch the Lord. I see. I see. You will find. You will find. But it's not too busy to hear your heart cry. It's fine. Sing by this moment. Your needs to. So blind. Oh, reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as He goes. That wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon with wings as a eagle. Oh, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Oh, teach me, Lord, to wait. Down on my knees, taking your own good time. Lord, you are sad. Teach me not to rely on what others do, but to wait in prayer for an answer from you. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew us. They shall mount up upon the wings, hey, just like an eagle. Oh, they shall roll and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Oh, hallelujah! To raise your hands and let's sing it again. Oh, and they that wait upon the Lord shall send you their strength. They shall mount upon the wings as a eagle. Thank you, Jesus. They shall roll and not be weary, and they shall walk. Teach me, Lord, please teach me, Lord, to wait. Oh, hallelujah. Shine on me, Lord, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine. Shine on me, oh, let the light 
from the lighthouse shine on me oh lord shine on me please shine on me oh lord, can you join us raise your voices just close your eyes let's worship hallelujah
rest of cross. What a heavenly atmosphere. What a divine atmosphere. to offer a word of prayer for us. Every head bow, every eye close. Let us sing this song before we pray. God is moving. You know that that presence of God is here this evening. He's moving all over the earth. And when his presence comes down, he comes down for a purpose. He said, my word shall never return to me void, but shall accomplish the purpose. For which he sent it. Let's sing this song together. God is moving. Just close your eyes wherever you are. Don't allow weakness or, or, or tiredness to stop you. Just raise your hands wherever you are and give a witness to his presence that is here right now. Oh God is moving. Yes, God is moving. He is moving all over the earth. Signs and wonders where God is moving. He is moving all over the earth. If you believe it, let's sing it again. God is moving. Yes, God is moving. He's moving all over the earth. Oh, signs and wonders. Where my God is moving, God is moving on the world. Get a this child. Oh, one final time. Get a hold this child. You sing for your glory. With all your heart, let's sing together. With your spirit, sing your testimony. Let this child to you. Let this spirit. Take a hold of the praise thank you Jesus father we know that surely your presence is here right now Amen. Lord and your word has gone forth and it shall never return to your void father I know that this was that you spoke Lord you spoke it for a purpose and you spoke to somebody here this evening father and your word Lord I know has not fallen on the wayside has not fallen among the thorns or among the, um, uh, on the, upon the stony ground but I know that the word has got into good ground and shall surely bring forth fruit abundant fruit some 30 fold, some 60 fold some 100 fold but each, uh, each according to its measure Father thank you for your servant but a kid Lord thank you for anointing him thank you for strengthening his body and thank you for speaking through him Lord words of eternal life was of faith lord has been imparted into us father and we can never be the same lord i pray for the people that are sat under this anointing that i had this was lord father i pray oh god that they will go home father meditating upon what they have heard repeating it upon the every uh, even upon their beds lord recycling back those promises father define every every plan of the enemy Define the doctor's statements, Lord, and holding on to the word of God. 
Father, may there be transformations. May there be healings. May there be deliverances. May there be breakthroughs. Hallelujah. In the every individual life. I pray, Lord, that every request that has been presented to you this night, Lord, will be answered. Grant it, my Father. I know you can do it, Lord. I know you are not just able, but you are more than able to meet every need in the lives of the people. Father, many of them come to the altar with different needs. Lord, I pray that they will go back home. Father, and see the manifestation of their prayers, Lord. The answer to their prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. But I say, go home and find out that that disease, that affliction is no more there because the power of God has taken it away. Granted, Heavenly Father, thank you for the, for the way you move here this night, Lord. Thank you for your word that has gone forth. Lord, that you be with the people. May you strengthen our bodies, Lord, through the night. Lord, may you give everyone rest in the body and bring us again tomorrow morning, Father, with new strength and energy. Lord, to continue in this feast of charity. Thank you, my Father. Bless Barakameta. Strengthen his body, Lord. Strengthen his vocal cords, Father. Touch him, Lord, and his wife and entire family. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And the church say amen. Oh, come on. The church say amen. Little louder, amen. Do you appreciate the Lord Jesus? Do you appreciate Brother Kate? Hallelujah. God bless you. He's a numb some God. Oh, our God. He's an arm some God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom power. Lord, our God is an arm some God. Our God. Our God. God, He reigns. From heaven, wisdom, power, Lord, our God is an unsung God. Our God is an unsung God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, Lord, our God is an unsung God. Our God. He's an unsung God, He reigns, He reigns. Oh, it, Lord our God. Come on, put your hands together. He reigns with wisdom power. God is an unsung God, our God. He's an unsung he reigned from heaven above with wisdom power. Lord our God is an awesome God. Oh, give the Lord a thunderous hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can do more better than that. Glory be his holy name. Amen, amen. I can't answer you if you appreciate the Lord because I know you did. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
casting your offerings. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. So uh, we have a wonderful time. And we believe the round will be going high and high and high like that. Glory be to God. Amen. So tomorrow, the door open 8.30. Amen. And the service start 9 o'clock. Amen. We just want you to go. You have a wonderful night rest. Amen. And before you go, amen, you can have your meals. Amen. And we believe the Lord will strengthen your body. Amen. Because we are here for a special hallelujah moment. And we are having them all through. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God and to the ministers and pastors. Please, those that have not put down their names, please try to do that. Amen. That we may, they may appreciate it tomorrow. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. So you just turn and shake your love on hands. Tell him how blessed you are. Say amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm pressing on, on with all I know. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Oh, I'm pressing on, on with all I know. I'm pressing on. Oh, with all I know, I'm pressing on to that city where the mansion prepared for me. I'm pressing on. Uh, oh, we talk. I know I'm pressing on. Oh, we talk. I know I'm pressing on to that city. Oh, where all my shall prepare for me. Well, I'm pressing on. And we talk that I know I'm pressing on. Oh, with all I know, I'm pressing on to that city. Well, where all my shall prepare for me. Well, I feel like going home. I feel like going home. Don't try. I'm pressing on. Oh, where all my shine. Confession tapes, amen. You're getting prepared. So if you need your tapes, man, try to see Brother McDonald or Brother Enos, amen, for your tape. And it worth 1,600 naira for the full service, amen. So you try your best to see them, to pay for it, amen, for you to enjoy them back home. Praise the Lord, amen. Oh, I'm pressing on. Prepare for me. This old world can never hold me anymore, man. For a man, oh, and I have my wedding garment on. Oh, this old. Hold me down any 